It's that time of year again, the holiday season. And for the last few years, this season has felt like the Great Depression. Okay, so, look, you know what they say about little people who drive big cars, right? I'm in a bit of a rush. Can you just, I just need oh, you to park my car. Yeah. Wait, just, you got to hear this one. I soundly swear it'll be worth your time. Okay, the whole world is standing at your feet right about now, and this better be good. So, what do they say about little people who drive big cars? Get this. They're going nowhere fast. You know, li little people who drive. Dude. Like, tiny. really? What are you like, in your 30s? Grown ass man still working in ballet? You have a lot of nerve. Whoa, whoa. That was just a joke. I thought little people were supposed to be happy go lucky. <laughs> and I thought dudes, grown ass men who still work in ballet were like jerks. Jeez, harsh. Touche. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place. Morning. You going up? No, well, isn't it obvious? Why so grumpy? I'm not grumpy. Seriously, who is this guy? Young lady, denial is a disease. The mind. Hi. Oh, hi. Just ignore Leo. He's always looking for stimulation. Would you like some coffee or some tea? Mm, no thanks. Okay, so what's on your mind? Gee, where do I start? Let's pick up from last month. Why are you afraid of a commitment in a relationship? Relationships are complicated and difficult for me because I seem to attract weirdos. Can you elaborate? Okay, sure. The last guy I dated, he seemed to have a pretty good head on his shoulders. But then he turned out to be a vampire. Whew, that's bad. That's the quirky part. For me, dating is a lot like Halloween. It's either a trick or a treat. The treat in the beginning eventually evolves into a trick. And the latter remains. But if it begins tricky, the ending is ominous. Because living. I see, but here's a few suggestions. Just because you run across some werewolves or vampires, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Life is an adventure. Give it another go, but this time be more cautious and optimistic. When you leave here today, try something festive and exciting. It's the holidays after all. Dr. Calzone. <laughs> Holiday season, you know I hate the holidays. Get thee behind me, Satan. Desiree, your challenge is taking responsibility for your own happiness, regardless of the season. It's all about balance, like finding a happy median. Like anything else in life, it takes patience and practice, and maintaining a positive outlook. Patience and practice, maintaining a positive outlook. Because living.
Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Your color's ever changing. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Your color's ever changing. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. Be the change you want to see. Be the best of change. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Be the change you want to see. Be the best of change. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Young lady, can you spare some change? Honestly, I stopped believing in you before I got my first period. Well, don't you want to be of some help to those who are in need this holiday? No. I thought Santa delivered presents to those who have been good all year. Well, let's see how you've been. Let me check my list. Not too bad. Looks like you did a little better than last year. Let's see what I can do. What would you like for Christmas? Hmm. How about a trip to the moon? Can you do that? Within reason. Okay. How about sweet revenge? And if you are who you say you are, then you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't think I can help you with that. That sounds like a job for Juju. But if you want to sit on my lap, we can talk about it later. You know, second thought, you look kind of familiar. Uh. Perhaps Dr. Calzone is right. My problem is me. I am responsible for my own happiness. But it would be nice to meet someone new. Wait, that kind of sounds like a relationship bucket list. Hmm, second thought, maybe I'm better off building a bear. Can you see me building a guy?